All right, so the bees are on the road in Amarillo, Texas. We're at the Big Texan, and you've probably heard about the Big Texan Steak Ranch. Uh, you've probably seen it on the steak shows and the TV shows and all that. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna take a look. So if you think you got it in you, you can do this, which is a 72 ounce steak. And what's that? That's the uh, shrimp cocktail and the salad and the baked potato and the roll. And it's free if you can pull it off. I'm not doing it. All right, so I, I think we lucked out because there's a guy sitting up on the stage right now and it looks like he's eating the 72 ounce steak. Let's see how he's doing. Look at that. How you doing? Still got six minutes, is that right? Is that 36 minutes? You think you're gonna do it? Probably up to here. It's a lot. That's a lot of food. Yeah. Good luck. All right, so now that you've seen the restaurant, we're gonna take a walk back to the motel because this is where the, the team actually stays when they're on the road in Amarillo. Uh, but before we go to the room, if you're traveling for some reason and you have horses, your horses can stay here. Check this out. Teresa uh, have been kind enough to join us on camera real quick. Now the team has to stay here because that's where that's where the home team puts us up. You guys are staying here by choice? Yes, absolutely. I want to eat that 72 ounce steak. You think you can do it? No. <laughs> I saw it and no way. No way. So what, it looks good. So you saw this on the Food Network? Yes. Okay, and, and, and what? It was just something you had uh, to do? It was uh, Guy Ferrari, I think you pronounce his last name, and it looked great. It looked like a good steak. So I figure I'll order it, and then we'll just cut it into three pieces and eat it. <laughs> Pay for it. Where are you guys from? Meadview, Arizona. Meadview, Arizona. And you guys got to come to the game tonight, right? We are coming to the game. You're gonna root, be a you're gonna, you're gonna root for the killer bees or for the gorillas? Killer uh, bees. Killer bees. Are you the killer bees? Yeah, we're the killer bees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll root for you. <laughs> so I'm. So I'm, I just want. I just want to get this straight. You guys. Are, you wanted to stay here. This is part of like yes. almost a little vacation type this trip. Is our little vacation. Yes. To yes. the Big Texan. Oh, the Big Texan. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah, well, you know, the neatest part is if, if, I, if they'll let me sit at the table, all the family back in Minnesota is going to get on the Internet and watch me eat. <laughs> Are you going to do that today? Are you going to, like, before the game? I think we're going to do it after the game. After the game. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. good. Well, we want to miss the rush. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good luck to you. Let me know how you do. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's nice talking to you. All right, so now that you've seen the horse hotel and you've seen the restaurant, we're going to check out the accommodations here at the Big Texan in case uh, you need to stay here for some reason. Here we go. And check, it, check out the bed. Indeed, that is cowhide bedspreads. If that's not enough, you want some privacy? You can close the shutters. Never mind the blind, shutters. And then to use the facilities, of course, you go through the you know, swinging saloon doors over to the bathroom where you can shower behind the state of Texas flag. It's actually not that bad of a place. It's uh, relatively clean, a little rustic, but uh, they, they do keep it up pretty nice. And this is a look at the luxurious accommodations for the killer bees at the Big Texan.